Sean Dykes has given his pre-match press conference ahead of Everton's game with Brentford at Goodison Park on Saturday. The manager was asked about loan sign and Armando Breuer, who stepped up his training in recent weeks, having suffered from an Achilles injury, which has meant he hasn't made an appearance for Everton so far. The manager was asked whether or not this game has come too early for Breuer. This is what he had to say. Not involved, but he's uh, back training. Um, he's only just getting into full training. He's been sort of doing bits and acting as a floater, just light bits, getting him integrated into the group. Um, as much for his injury as well. Um, but no, he's, he's had a full week's training, but he doesn't need a games programme, obviously. We're looking at the dates now because we wanted to ensure that he came through his first full full kind of week. Um, you know, with, Obviously, it was interrupted from the international as well. Uh, but no, he, he's done well with that. And... Uh, he said he feels good and he's looking fit. So, yeah, we, we introduced a pro, uh, games programme, sorry, as soon as the medical and the physical uh, scientists, sorry, and uh, myself all align. But it's, it's very... There have been some thoughts that Breuer might appear for the under-21s on Monday night. We'll have to wait and see whether or not that happens. But good news looks like he is getting close to being available for first-team action, which will obviously help us as we not scoring anywhere near enough goals. Hopefully he will help with that. Uh, Sean Dyke was asked about any other injury updates ahead of this Brentford game. This was his update there. Um, Youssef's making good progress as well. He is, he's slightly behind, but he had his first full day with us actually today. Um, and that's pleasing because um, he's worked very hard, very unfortunate injury. So, yeah, there's two two different style of centre forwards and we'll see what they offer. But first things first, to get them fully fit and get them out there playing. Yeah, it shows a bit. He's on the grass, but he's with the medical side. So he's just taking the first steps back. Jimmy's had good news from the specialist, although it's still because obviously he's been out a while now. So he's going to have to start the training uh, period again. Because uh, it's a back and forth. I had a few myself. Is you know you have to be careful in the initial spell. Uh, and Tim's is um, similar but different. It, the stress response in his foot is, is clearing up, so he can start sort of semi loading again now and making sure that he starts his progress back. There you go. Hopefully, Evans' injury problems easing, and we get these players available as soon as possible. Uh, Illiman and Jai has been the subject of uh, much discussion. He's been away on international duty with Senegal, playing in the number 10 role. A lot of Evertonians would like him to operate there. Dwight McNeil has taken that position this season and done relatively well with it. But Njai does have a history of playing most of his career. Um, in fact, three times as many games in a central area than he has out wide. Sean Dyche was asked if this was something he was considering altering in Dyche's position to get him more central to try and add to the goals that Everton well, try and make Everton score more goals, basically. This was what the manager had to say. Well, currently, he's, he's doing well coming off the left. Um, people keep telling me I should be playing him in the number 10. There's no evidence to suggest um, he should be playing in the number 10. But people keep telling me my role as a manager, as they do. Um, but no, he, I think he can adapt into Everton. Number 10 is the modern number 10. You have to defend from there as well. You see Dwight McNeil doing very well on the offensive side. Some of the defensive side, he's found more of a challenge. You know, it's not as easy as people think, getting the right passing lane, stopping the opposition, and then on the turnover of uh, transition of play, attacking in the right format, you know, and, and learning how to do that consistently throughout 95 minutes. So that can be developed over time. But at, th at, the, at the moment, I think he's doing a good job coming off the left. He can wriggle, he can affect, and he can drive into the box. Um, and I think he's doing well with that. So, yeah, I think he's still young in his Premier League learning, that's for sure, we know that. And he's still adapting, so we're, we're, we're letting him go a little bit whilst coaching him as well. There you go. Uh, Thomas Frank has given his pre-match press conference ahead of the trip to Goodison Park and he's confirmed that Brian and Bumo, Yon Wisser and Ethan Pinnock are all available for Brentford this Saturday. There have been some reports that they may be missing Wisser and Mbumo. That isn't the case. Um, both Wisser and Mbumo missed international duty over the last couple of weeks, but they are fit to take their place in the Brentford starting lineup. And finally, in other news today, uh, there is a vote tomorrow between the Premier League and Manchester City, and apparently Everton are likely to change sides. They voted with Wolves in agreement with Manchester City at the last sort of um, last meeting that they all had. But the proper vote is tomorrow. Everton are thought to now be siding with the Premier League uh, to do with associated party transactions, sponsorships and stuff like that. The vote needs 14 clubs out of 20 to, uh, to get it one way or the other. This report today saying that Everton are now going to change their stance and vote with the Premier League. That is it for the news daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And make sure you check out the Everton and Brentford match preview. See you later.